everybody. Kelly here for Mystical Madness Healing. Thank you for clicking on to this video. If you are not a, a subscriber, I'd appreciate if you would do that so you can see my content when it comes out. We have a Six of Pentacles. I've done two readings today, and this has came out. That's somebody wants to... Woo, I'm out of breath. I was just doing the uh, DJ Whoops uh, morning exercise thing. Okay, this person wants to give to you equally. Um, I don't know what equal give and take. Obviously, that's a relationship, so maybe somebody from the past. A um, couple minutes ago when I started to shuffle these, but then got sidetracked, I did see the Two of Cups, which is on the deck. So we'll see if that comes out, because the Six of Pentacles is a beautiful card. Um, maybe where somebody, it, uh, the, the scales weren't balanced before, you know, it's, it's, uh, going to be here. All right, clarify this six of pentacles. Uh, someone definitely wants to collaborate with the three of pentacles, clarifying the six of pentacles. Could have been a third party interference. Maybe that's why, maybe there was a little juggling going on. Third party doesn't have to be, uh, it could be just... Family, addictions, uh, job, okay? But this is a collaboration card. Maybe you guys are going to be working together. Um, that's clarifying the Six of Pentacles. Birds could be significant here. Birds, garden, flower. Wow, pop it out. We got a Queen of Swords. All right, Gemini energy. She's got a telescope. She's looking out. Queen of Swords, you know about the Queen of Swords, what they've been through. These sixes today. And th uh, six breaks down to a three. We got the Three of Pentacles. Um, this is clarifying the, the Queen of Swords. This is moving away, possibly, from this Gemini, Gemini Queen of Swords energy. Um, not sure. Not sure. Just telling you what I see. But again, birds, birds in every reading. This one's got the sun. Water could be significant here. This is like moving out of the, moving to calmer waters. Out of the turbulence. All right, this one wanted to, hold on, let me, okay. Let me think what to ask here. Give me a little, wow, they're just, I don't even have to ask. This is, something's happening very quickly. This is fast momentum. Uh, maybe this collaboration here, and maybe there's a Queen of Swords that doesn't want that, that to happen, only because I see the the telescope. Um, this could be an older person. They got the old handkerchief look. Uh, but the Queen of it doesn't have to be. If you know you're, you could just be, uh, Pisces, you could just be in this Queen of Swords energy, Gemini energy, because, uh, you know, maybe something happened here if there was an equal give and take. And, you know, because I see that you're moving out of calmer waters either away from this Queen of Swords, Gemini. Um, look at how this, just so you know, look how this one landed. Or I caught, just like that. That happened in the last reading. So it's like in the nick of time uh, or, or, or impulsive like cat-like reflexes. I've, it's happened twice. And the last reading was the energy reading. I've never had a, a reading like that. That's why I started doing that exercising after I was wound up. It was beautiful, but I've never had one come out like that so if you want you should check that one out it's just was posted uh we got the star we got wishes wish fulfillment uh possibly uh rebirth because she's you know n nude here and that's like new life and coming into the world you're you know you're pure this is happening quickly somebody could actually be a star this but this is also an Aquarius card. Maybe that happened quickly. This Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords 
well, this person on the Six of Swords, I believe, is you getting out of the calmer waters. But the Six of Swords, okay, is facing this the star. So that could have been something that you were looking towards, and um, and then it happened. Uh, and this Queen of Swords is watching this Eight of Wands action and the star. So let's see who this Queen of Swords is, if this is somebody you know or need to know it could be it could be a male in a just a you know in a more feminine energy if they oh my god i'm speaking something true i look down there's the ace of wands this is a yes card this is a new beginning this is coming from the universe best to me all this is all four aces wrapped in one <laughs> can't make it up Cards are high ener vibe and energy, or just things changing in the plant in the universe. Uh, we we have had a shift. That's why I always say look into astrology. I'm just I know about them, but I don't. I can't speak fluently on all the different things. I can't remember all of it. You know, I read a lot every day, but I'm telling you, there was a shift. I've noticed people's energy change. I had some strange events happen in the past couple of days, meeting people in this town. I'd been over a year just coming up to me. I got two phone numbers, two women were, were, were going to get together, put this little group to help people, possibly. I'm just saying weird things are happening. And then this Ace of Wands, and then you got the Nine of Pentacles. That's Look, at this is abundance. That's success. Uh, again, birds could be significant. There's a bluebird on this one. Someone could like to dress bougie, hippie-like with those earrings. Okay. We got the emperor. We got the emperor. The emperor wants to collaborate with you. Um... Okay, so on the, this uh, Gemini, this Queen of Swords, moving away possibly from this Queen of Swords or that type of energy, um, and now maybe you're the King of Wands. This is the female version of the King of Wands. Doesn't again gender doesn't. Uh, this is energy we're picking up. However, it's not just energy. We are talking about people here. Otherwise, you would not know what's going on, right? So, uh, I think it's like something that people have to say just to cover. But uh, that isn't how it was back in the day. It, you know what I mean? Th these are actual people. That how, how would we just be picking up energy? We're picking up energy from people. So, mm. I don't know where the heck that came from. I hope I don't get in trouble for it. But anyways. This emperor is looking at you uh, with this king of wands. Fiery, fiery. Maybe you're doing something and they're... They got the flowers in the hand and the... It, it's stick in the mouth, however. I think it represents solid... Um, earth, earthy energy with like, you know, a, a branch. Castle for a hat. This is, a, this is, oh man. Someone's lucky here. Okay. Still not sure who the ki Queen of Swords is, but she, it doesn't kind of matter in, anymore. <laughs> it was... All right, we got the world. This came out today a couple times. Um, and this is this is falling on the star. So you're definitely doing something on social media that's making you, you got, you know, this could be going on social media or you could be working together on social media or this Aquarius, this star, this stuff that happened fast could be an influencer. But this is like having, you know, a lot of different options to choose from because you're, you're making, you're making opportunities for yourself. 
So you could even be the emperor, but I, I there it, no, it looks like there's an emperor coming in to collaborate with you and give you equal give and take. Ace of Wands. All right, Holy Spirit, please. Cl <laughs> I wish you guys could see this camera action or or how this fell out. This is the female version of the emperor. So the empress, just more in a masculine energy. So unbelievable unbelievable the uh, emperor and empress came out in the last reading i did there could have been some competition or or no um yeah could have been some competition or drama or things that were hard for you guys maybe put on by somebody and the only thing i can think is the queen of swords she's usually very intuitive and everything but I'm not sure why she's in the reading and you're moving away from that, it, you know, whatever it is. But could have been who, whoever was jealous or in competition. But this is breaking free. Somebody can have tattoos here. This is, uh, you're moving forward. Definitely moving forward quickly together with this chariot card. This could have taken, um, even though chariot is a fast momentum Fast action, something happening fast. Wait a minute, this could have all been this uh, going viral thing, this star also. But this is a snail, and usually it's a car or, or a couple of horses. This is a snail bringing it in, but it's still coming. So this could have taken a while. This could have been divinely guided or needed balancing. The first card out was pretty much balancing. Wow. Now we got a page of pentacles that wants to come in. That's an offer um, from a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Very childlike, which is good. Playful. Um, that could be even even be you, you know, because it's falling on the star card. You could have been, you could just be in, in this pure, you know, energy right now child like energy oh my god ten of cups these were all in my hand these fell out okay these are the cards that i picked up look at the rainbow on there ten of cups this is falling in the 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 nine of cups and the ace of wands there's there's no negative cards in this reading which tells me that things have definitely taken a turn for the better in these readings that I've been reading. Uh, this is for Pisces. But I see a lot of uh, earth signs in here. I see Gemini. I see fire. Um, Libra. In, I, I definitely see the Pisces in this ten of uh, cups here. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at this. The hermit could be dealing with the Virgo or, you know, somebody could have been in hermit mode. But this is honestly the last card that I was going to take. So after the Ten of Cups comes for one soulmate. This is somebody that you already knew, which we could tell by the first card out with the equal give and take. This is going to be a very happy uh, emperor and empress. This could, like I said, be a Virgo, Virgo or this required going into hermit mode, uh, healing yourself. Something that happened could have got you to go in herm, hermit mode and deal with your emotions. This is a healing card. This is being courageous to go within and, and uh, do this. So whatever that means to you. But like I said, we do have a lot of earth in this, in this reading. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to pull one of these romance. Oh my gosh. I look at look what this split on when I set it down. The sun. <laughs> oh my god, this has been happening. It's kind of weird today. All right, this is for Pisces. I'm going to do give you a romance um angel card. See what comes up for Pisces, please for the <laughs> Well, messages are flying where if they weren't before, yep, past life relationship two fell out. Two fell out. We already know this is a past person. Soulmate. 
You guys are very passionate for each other. Don't mind my nails. I, I have to go to work. No sense in, in doing them. But, uh, and I don't even notice until I put the camera on. And then I'm like, ugh, not. Uh, this is a past life relationship for, for, bleh, for sure. Very uh, passionate. I wanted to say sexual just because of the way that you are both so um, comfortable with each other. Uh, somebody could have long curly hair, the color green. Do you see this? What's so crazy? And I'm just discovering this. See this cave like in the background, the stone? I get visions of this and I don't know what it means. I always go like think the word mason and i don't even know if that resonates but that is this is this could be like past lives too maybe that's why like past lives you could have past lives with this person if you don't if you don't believe in it that's fine but you could have had past lives i mean we'd have to be crazy to think that we were the only people here on earth right so anyways past life relationship and stay optimistic. Your love life is ascending. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. Very important. Be grateful for what you have. If this is really worrying you or anything like that, come on. Just go. Uh, let, it, let it play out the way it's supposed to. Because this is like divine intervention too. The Ace of Wands. This is the divine stepping in like giving you the world you know so you definitely guys have done a lot of work all right one more holy spirit all right. let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others so if you are like in a separation because it's a past person and you know it doesn't even if you don't have people you can talk to still get it out somehow journal it down you know, talk to your whoever your people are about it and let people help you if it is really, if somebody's having a difficult time here with anxiety or something, I'm, you know, please do that. Talk to, who you know, call your soulmate something. This one really wants to come out too here. This one. This could be the one. You already met the romantic par partner you seek. Clarification three times of a past person. Romantic feelings, stirring. Your feelings are worth exploring. So take it slow here. And maybe you guys had to heal family issues. This is crazy. Getting to know each other again. All right, guys. For Pisces, uh, peace out, guys. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for the people who actually listen to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, this really helps me a lot. If you guys ever need any help, just feel free to reach out. Thank you so much.